Cafe. Anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. I want to thank you for listening to Mike's Daily Podcast, F -F episode 2171. 2171, the show called Mike's Daily Podcast. Broadcasting, I'm sorry, podcasting from Podcastro Valley. It's a great day for you and me because we have what? A week to go before Christmas time. And snow, snow, snow. Or is there going to be any snow? I don't know. All I know is that I don't know... Mike's Daily Podcast. ...what I'm going to do for a podcast picture. I guess we did a Christmassy one with Basil the Boxer last time. So possibly... Mike's ...we will go... ...daily... ...with some Christmas cheer. Podcast. A picture that... Yeah! Oh, no, no, no. We're going to go... We're going to go to... Yeah, there was this really nice Christmassy looking house that I saw recently in Columbia in the Podcastro Valley area. And I think you should see it. Go to mikesdailypodcast.com. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Why don't we throw it all at the very beginning of the show? Let's front load it, as they say. The, let's see, we're going to hear from Madame Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. So I got to mentally prepare for that. It's going to be great. I got to come up with something for them to say. All oh, the things I got to do. It's a list. Look how long. I finally got to talk to my mom. I hope you are keeping in touch with your loved ones this time of year. You know, relatives, friends, close friends, dear friends. I talked to my mom today. We discussed a boat. We had an adventure with a boat. I, my mom got me a boat. It's called a Sabbath. It looks like a bathtub. It's awesome. This Sabbath, as I was talking to my mom, I was remembering all of these memories that I, I took just about everybody out that I knew on the Sabbath, even though it is barely a two-person boat. It's barely a one-person boat. It's... And here's today's podcast picture. Rather small. It is not a picture of a Sabbath, though. It's a Christmas house of some sort in Podcastro Valley. So I I took, let's see, my dad, my, at the time, my best friend's dad, my best friend, this girl I had a crush on, a couple girls I had a crush on when I was much younger. Let's see. There was a guy I knew named Gordy, short for Gordon. Or Gordo. Now he's super Gordo. Didn't mean to go there, Gordo. I mean, Gordy. We're all a little bit bigger these days because of the coronavirus. Oh, Basil. Yes, Basil never got to ride on the Sabbath. The only boat, the only boat dearest the late great Basil the Boxer got to be on was a boat that you paddle, pedal, you pedal. A, it, it, it's a pedal paddle boat full of pedal paddling. And my lovely lady friend was pedal paddling at Lake Chabot in Podcaster Valley. That was fun. Oh, hey, by the way, I want to say hi out to Sylvia. She's been listening to all the podcasts. And she said, yes, I am a Buddhist, Mike. Thanks for remembering. Or as I am reminding you, now I am a Buddhist. There you go. And I did not send you any weird mail that had to do, weird letter that had to do with dealing with the coronavirus by reading a Bible verse from the book of Job. Wasn't the book of Job the book with the whale in it? Was that Job and the whale? Anyway, Cafe Anyway, that was... Hearing from Sylvia was great. Uh, I had a great memory with Sylvia a couple of years back. We met at the place in... Oh, I'm going to give them a plug. I won't give them a slug because they're nice people. Cafe 4. I actually know somebody that is a... Uh, he's retired, but he washes dishes for them. How nice is that? It's in Podcastro Valley. They serve Verve coffee there. And it's kind of strong, wonderful stuff they make in Santa Cruz. Or the, the beans are roasted in Santa Cruz. But this place, Cafe 4, puts up... I don't know what they're doing this year, but they usually put up a beautiful, huge Christmas tree. Because it's the lobby to a church. And we, and so my Buddhist friend and I hang out in a Christian church lobby 
And we were drinking, I think she drinks a hot tea, which actually I'm drinking today. A nice hot chai tea. Chai vanilla flavor. Oh, yes. I'm so elitist. Mm. So healthy for you. But don't you worry, I had a big swig of eggnog earlier. No, there was no brandy in it. Darn it. What were some of Brandy's hits, by the way? Can't remember any at the moment. Didn't she also play Moesha? Didn't Dick Clark produce that show? Didn't I just get off topic again? So yes, Sylvie and I had some great times hanging out there at Cafe Four. So I'm glad to hear she's doing well. Let me tell you back to the story about the Sabbath. And not the Sabbath, which is the Sunday, as you know. Or depending on what you are, are you... Isn't the Jewish religion its Sabbath is on Saturday, isn't it? I look, I did not prepare as you can tell. Uh, it, <laughs> Sab, a Sab, the Jewish Sabbath, uh, Shabbat is Judaism's day of rest on the seventh day of the week, Saturday. Ah, on this day, religious Jews remember the biblical story. Describing the creation of the heavens and the earth in six days and look forward to a future messianic age. Excellent. So, where was I? Oh, the Sabbath, though, one day when I was off to college, UCSB, it got uh, blown off the dock. Actually, my mom... uh, Further clarified the story and said No, in fact, I do not think the wind blew The Sabbath off the dock Because my mom had a dock She Lived in a townhome In the Channel Islands Harbor in Oxnard Our next door neighbor was a very evil German named Gisela My mom is a nice German Our next door neighbor was an evil German Named Gisela And her husband was named Aegon I am not kidding you at all. These are the names. I'm not making these up. Gisela and Egon. Egon. It was Egon. Egon. As we go outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. So Gisela, my mom thinks, pushed the boat off the dock. She did not like us. She hated it when my mom would barbecue. And my mom barbecued. She would get like some kind of alcohol and pour it on the meat as it sat on the fire. And flames would shoot up. Oh, it was good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, I think Ken is... uh, Oh, great. My right toe has been throbbing and aching so much I can barely walk and it hurts. Okay. All right, Ken, we wish you well. We'll deal with that after the podcast. Ah, fun times during the podcast, everybody. So, yes. Gisela pushed the Sabbath off the boat. It floated around Channel Islands Harbor for, I would say, weeks. And finally, somebody found it and let my mom know. Uh, My mom at this point is like, Mike's not using the Sabbath anymore. So she donated it to a kind family. And they used it up at a lake. I did not know the end of that story until I talked to her today. And the kids played in the Sabbath up at this lake, the grandkids and the, the, of this person and that my mom knew. So that's great. It had a good ending, right? The Sabbath went to a good place. Okay. Let's say hi to a couple people here at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Hello, Michael Myers, it's Madame Blue, the Mega on Yes, I love hearing these stories. They are so good. Oh, did you own a boat? Yes. Was it a great boat? Yes. Did it have leaks? No. Oh, that could have been a great. Oh, more texting. Wow. I just don't know. All right. He's going to see a doctor. We wish you luck, Ken. Look who else is here. Oh, day, Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, you should really shut your phone off when you're doing a podcast. Yeah, podcast. Do you know that? Yes. Yes, I see that now. Next show, it'll be the wonderful uh, Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. What do you think about any of these topics? You can call me 336-MM-DAILY. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews. Daily is in what this podcast. 
tries to be. I guess I was for the past two days, so that's good. Well, we got interrupted once this week. We forge ahead, right? And hopefully our feet will feel better soon. Let me know what you think about any of this. 336MM Daily. All right. And thank you for listening to the show. Good luck with any of your uh, adventures that you go on. Make sure to call the people that you love, especially this time of year. They can tell you. They can teach you so much. Whatever preconceived notions you had about the world, you're probably wrong. You probably need to be set straight. And you probably need a little extra information like I did today. It's always very helpful. It's always helpful to hear different points of view. Except for the ones that still believe that a certain someone won the election when he didn't. And you've already got the electors saying that he's won the election and yet they're still contesting it. What the heck? Okay. Anyway... That's another day, another topic for another day. Although it is fascinating that we had this, uh, this all happen at the same time people are going anti-vaxxing, anti-vaxxing away, saying, no, I don't believe that information either. A lot of non-beliefs, non- non-believing going on. Hmm. Maybe we'll explore that next podcast a little bit more, but... You can help by chiming in with that. And for information on how to do that, here's Ariel telling you about that. That. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.